what is OA and who does it affect? So osteoarthritis or OA, what exactly is it? It can go by many names. It can be degenerative joint disease, wear and tear arthritis, or my least favorite term, bone on bone. OA is a loss of cartilage space within a joint. So let's talk about what exactly that means. Cartilage functions to provide a smooth lubricated surface and it can help with proper joint loading between our joints. So shock absorption and cushioning between those joints. In addition, between our joints, we've got a fluid called synovial fluid. And this fluid is encapsulated in a sac around that joint and it further helps lubricate the joint to keep things moving well. So in osteoarthritis, we have a loss of that cartilage in the joint. So that means that our joints are less slippery, as well as there's poor load distribution and less shock absorption within the joint. Some of the risk factors for developing OA include a prior joint injury or repetitive overuse, it affects more often people that are 50 or older, more commonly females, as well as obesity, genetics, and race are different risk factors as well. OA can affect any joint that has cartilage within our body, but most commonly it affects the hands, feet, knees, hip, and all areas of the spine. And as you can see from the picture here, that includes most of the weight-bearing joints in our body because those are the ones that are taking more of the weight and force. So how common is OA? This graph here, I know it's a bit hard to see in small. Um, this is our prevalence with age of OA. So as a whole, in everyone 20 and older, it affects about 14% of Canadians. The prevalence, as you can see, increases with age and it affects upwards of 40% with OA. So we'll come back to that. And then some of the signs and symptoms of OA, most commonly it includes joint pain and aching, the stiffness often in the morning as you're getting things warmed up and moving, and there can be an overall loss of range of motion at a joint. Often it feels worse in weight bearing if it's a weight bearing joint, and there sometimes can be swelling after activity. And then a true diagnosis can be done by x-ray or other imaging paired with some of those signs and symptoms. So that is OA in a nutshell.